Okay, well, welcome back to another episode, um, and it seems like I have a long time to record. So, let's go back to Presidium, uh, MCs. I need to go to... Okay, uh... Nice ass for a hologram. Okay, I need to go here, I think. Even though my map says I need to go elsewhere, but I need to go here, really. I'm a quick save real quick. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? It was a Turian named Septimus who found out your secret. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. And now I'm gonna go here. <sighs> Welcome to the Presidium. Shut up. Allow me to be your guide. I'm, I'm gonna use the rapid travel, I think, yes I am, because I can't be bothered to walk. It might take me a bit too far, but never mind. Oh no, it took me to the right place. That was a lot faster than traveling. Okay. I wonder how much you'll enjoy this scene. Um, the pervs will. Um, I enjoy it just because it's. A, I think it it's good for the story. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander, but I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding, a wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Uh, thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander.
Titanic. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elkor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. So you see. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. What I picked just before she um did the special thing. Um, if I picked something else, you would have given me the trinket. So you have to be smart to do this. You have to be really smart. Um, I've seen another scene, but I'm not sure if it's a DLC or or what. But basically. Hello again. Um, the consort is very pleased with everything that you have done for her. Any chance I can move up on her client list? I did help her out. Yeah, she is grateful for your assistance. However, you have already been rewarded for helping her. The client list is a separate matter, and her schedule is completely booked for the next several months. I think I'm done here. Of course. Come back anytime. Yeah, she was just giving me the trinket, so yeah. You have to have played this before, otherwise you've done it wrong. But, now we shall go get Garrus, and then we can become a Spectre, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Why am I even walking this? Wait, where did the questing go from my map? Oh, there it is. Okay. Nothing went. Wait, it did. Oh wait, there's two Avenas. Either way, I need to go to um, speak to the ambassador first, I think. Um, I wish you could sprint in this, rather than just jog. Allow me to be your guide. Shut up, Avena. You suck. I hate these doors. I already said that, but I just hate them so much. They're so slow. They make that stupid noise. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Dude, you're old. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. Oh shit, that was a dick move. But only if there's no other way. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Go back! Option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Okay, I covered myself up. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Whew. Why does this want me to... I did that. Oh, I need to go to the clinic thing. Okay, let's go back to Cora's den, I guess. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Does she ever shut up? Okay, over here somewhere. Wrong way, I need to go back here. Through a door, I think. 
Yes. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Noise. Hostile spotted. Oi, why are you no shoot? How are they so good at this? Why am I missing every shot? Come out, come out, wherever you are! No scope. I lost shields. Never mind. Oh crap. Okay, good. <laughs> Think we're good, Commander. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you. But if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. Rex, yeah. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the academy before he leaves. Move out. Um. Yes. Let's crew biotics. Let's go, go, go. So glad I know what I'm doing. Okay. Uh. Just over here. Pretty sure. And suddenly everyone's inside.
In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. There's a way to zoom in, I forgot which one it was. No, that was a bad idea. Chill guys, chill. Where is he? Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard, I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Oh, uh... I wish I could have three people. Yeah, we have a bit of everything now. I need a way to travel. Wrong way. Oh, I wonder if there if I have to No, I don't have to go in the elevator. Thank you so much. Uh woods. Okay, let's see how much havoc I can wreak now. Um Ooh, la, la. I should have jumped a bit faster. Never mind. Looks like it shut down. This knows oh shit! There's a whole bunch of enemies. Hold the line. Take cover. Okay, let's go sniper. Stupid overheat. There needs to be a heat sink on it. Dude, he has health. To be honest, you need to be able to switch between weapons a lot faster than you are currently. Good. Good stuff. Oh, crap. Was he just sitting down? Mate. Lazy. I'm on it. Oh, I'm the only one alive. That's why it's so quiet. Enemy is everywhere! 
I'm on it. Good stuff. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. I've lost shield. Oh, come on. I was supposed to talk to them. Why do I have to kill them? Oh, this is a hard bit. Why do I have to do everything myself? Hold the line. Hold the line. Hold the line. Ah. I've lost shields. Kill me, I surrender. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing?! The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Anything you want, you can find for sale in the wards, legal or otherwise. Oh fuck. I'm shit at this. Oh! Oh! I don't have to run! Take all. Oh fuck! There's a time. I don't know where to go. Mate, you cheating? Too damn good for this game. Now, if I knew where to go, that would be really nice. Okay, I know where to go. Oh yeah, right, okay. Where do I go? I have no fucking clue. 